Hello, great people. My name is Reverend Ronald Breku. And as always, I've been coming your way with some very interesting discussions on marriage and relationships. Um, in our previous discussion, we looked at the challenge of distance relationship. And uh, myself and my wife, we spoke of the challenges and then we tried to use communication on the phone and uh, text messages to be able to close that gap or that space someone may be feeling when they are in a kind of distance relationship. So that's what, what we looked at. But in as much as uh, communication over the phone is good, then the next question is that if phones can be used to stay in touch, then what about a phone being used to fulfill that sexual need? Hence uh, the, the thought of um, phone sex. So phone sex basically is when someone, uh, a couple, uh, the man calls the woman or the woman calls the uh, the man either on audio or video where they interact and then when they interact it's like uh, the man is using some erotic voice over the phone and the woman is also using some erotic voice over the phone and they are encouraging each other to touch themselves and there's a feeling which would come from touching yourself and then you respond or you moan or you groan and then the other person hearing your moan and groan is also touching themselves and then there's some uh, there's sexual satisfaction so basically that's phone sex now with uh, phone sex uh, the first question um, uh, is it wrong is it, is it is it wrong is it a sin uh, is it permissible <laughs> is it beneficial I can't, that, those those thoughts and those questions. Now, the biblical position uh, is is not so clear because then the one it's not so clear because basically when phones were invented, the Bible was, or let's say this phone Bible uh, the phone was invented after the Bible was written, and therefore the Bible did not specifically talk about phone sex. But then I think one of the closest texts we'll have is that, but uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 28, where Jesus says that, uh, but I tell you, anyone who looks upon a woman lastly has a committed adultery with her in his heart. So basically, Jesus moved adultery from actually the act to, uh, how am I call it, to even thinking and uh, like sinking deep into that thought. It's not just seeing a woman and saying that, oh, she's beautiful, she has fine legs. No, no, no. This text is talking about actually looking upon a woman. Ah, if I get this woman, I'll turn her this way, I'll kiss her, I'll squeeze her. I'll, uh -huh. That's basically what that text is actually saying. Not looking upon a woman, ah, she's fine. No, no, no. That's not it. So, for couples who are not married, then of course, as a Christian, it's, it's out of the question for you because then it is, it is considered sinful. So, uh, if you look at her in the video call, she's taking off her breast, she's taking off, and you are consuming her, he's also looking at you and they are, you know, that kind of thing, then uh, from the biblical perspective, then it's wrong. Now, so then the question comes in, as a married couple, is it, is it also wrong? Because if you look upon your wife with desire and you are thinking of flipping her, you are thinking of doing certain crazy things to her, uh, then it is not wrong. So then if I'm having a phone sex with my wife, then it shouldn't be wrong. If we are not together and I feel for sex or she feels for sex, then we can use that to fill that gap. Okay. So solid argument. Um, in the context of marriage, from the biblical, from the text we have read, then possibly it shouldn't be a problem. But um, is that just it? Is, is, is that just it? Are there some challenges with it? I think that the first challenge we would have is um, if you find yourself with a couple, if one of them or any of them have uh, has sorry battled masturbation and pornography and has been able to come out, it's possible that after the first act, the second act, they may have a relapse and go back to the addiction of pornography and masturbation because then. Uh, it is it, 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 it uses or, or or it gives those um, how do you call it um, uh, yes sort of it, it has the features of watching porn and then masturbating so 
basically in that. So you are looking at just at this time, it's your wife who is acting, and then you you are you are um, how do you call it receiving it. So it can easily push you to a relapse for both the man and the woman if the person has had problems with the addictions, of masturbation, and pornography. Then the next challenge is. Uh, sometimes in uh, marriage we are good we are nice we love each other uh, we are happy and uh, we are sending videos to each other and the like sometimes along the line things get bad um, the grips become sore and then the thought is like oh, Charlie uh, people want to take revenge and all that and people may have recordings videos and all that of each other and may try to uh, send it in order to blackmail or another to as, as a revenge so once you have those uh, and maybe there's a uh, audio video then it becomes a challenge that Charlie it's possible that some the other person is uh, how do you call it is is maybe using it to blackmail or maybe using it to create uh, problems for the other person so then the thought is that um, why uh, why do you even try to do it so that is the 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 second challenge the third challenge is that you see uh especially in this side of the world i don't know maybe uh maybe that you could have challenges with internet so you started you are almost uh uh, how do you call it you're almost there in in the excitement and the feeling and then all of a sudden the internet goes off uh what happens you continue you continue so then it moves from the era of uh, a couple uh, phone sex to masturbation and sometimes if you are calling the other person for it and the person is not around then it's likely that you will you will fall um you will fall to uh, you will fall to masturbation because then you will go ahead to finish yourself because you have learned how to touch yourself and touch yourself uh, good and i always say this um it's difficult for someone or the other person to compete with masturbation it's it's difficult uh, it's difficult i'll speak about it uh, later but then the question is that if a couple are in a distance marriage they're about one they are, they are apart for a year or two years three years is that not better than adultery is that not better than adultery since uh, the scripture does not specifically talk against it that if a couple are in a, how do you call it are in a distance marriage then is, is that not a, 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 an alternative is that not a better option let's keep the conversation going uh, i'm not i'm not doing any conclusion now perhaps in the next video i'll do a conclusion of this discussion so until then may god bless you may god help you uh, in your distance marriage and distance relationships and may you may you enjoy uh, your marriage and your relationship until then, it's it's bye from me, Reverend Ronald. God bless you. Catch you on the other side. Bye.